firing five seconds. The hydrogen igniters under the orbiter's engines have been armed. These devices are used to ensure that any hydrogen flowing through the engines prior to ignition does not accumulate, causing a small explosion. T minus 40 seconds. We are just seconds away from switching command of the countdown from the ground computers to the onboard computers. And seconds and the away SRB from the fifth flight of the Columbia. Recorders are on. And we have a go for auto sequence start. T minus. 21 seconds and counting, the SRB nozzles are being moved through a test pattern to launch position. T minus 15 seconds, 13, 12, 11, 10, we are go for main engine ignition. Six, we have main engine ignition. Three, two, one, and solid motor ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the first operational space shuttle mission with two satellites Beautiful. on board. Beautiful. Look at that the show. has cleared the tower. Roll pitch program. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston now controlling. Mission control confirms roll maneuver started. A magnificent launch. 20 seconds. Thrust looks good. 26 seconds, roll maneuver completed. 30 seconds, Columbia now one nautical mile in altitude, throttling engines down to 85% is programmed. Crew of four on its way. Mark 40 seconds, Columbia now two and a half nautical miles in altitude, one nautical miles down range. Mark 50 seconds, coming up now and create a maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. 55 seconds, Columbia now four and a half nautical miles in altitude. Mark one minute, pass through max Q, still looking good. Uh, throttling engines back to 100%, giving a go at throttle up. Columbia, this is Houston, you go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Mark one minute, 10 seconds, Columbia now seven nautical miles in altitude, five nautical miles down range. Mark one minute, 20 seconds. Uh, Columbia now 10 nautical miles in altitude, seven nautical miles down range. Columbia Houston, we're monitoring a slightly depressed trajectory expected because of the headwinds. Roger, One minute, 35 seconds. I was Capcom Bob Stewart advising the crew a slight depression because of the headwind. Columbia moving out now is pre-planned on three good engines. One minute, 45 seconds. A brand over Meyer Lenore Allen uh, now coming to the last traces of the Earth's atmosphere. Columbia now 19 nautical miles in altitude, 18 nautical miles down range. <coughs> and they're riding upside down. Mark two minutes. Matter. Standing Move by now for solid rocket down. booster separation okay. confirmation. Roger PC. Columbia now 25 nautical miles in altitude. And there is the separation of the solid rocket boosters. T Two minutes, 15 seconds. Confirm solid rocket booster separation. On the last flight, they fell into the Atlantic Ocean Two minutes, and sank. 22 seconds. Onboard guidance is converging that corrected. The program. Columbia is now steering for a precise window in space for main engine cutoff. 31 nautical miles in altitude, 43 nautical miles down range. Main engine cutoff, the next big step. Columbia, this is Houston. Your first stage was uh, low on performance this morning. Okay, fine. Two minutes, 40, two minutes, 49 seconds. Columbia now 37 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 58 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. The shuttle still riding Mark, under that huge minutes. external fuel tank. And that tank will be jettisoned a bit later on. Columbia now the only part of the shuttle that is not reusable. Two engine tail capability. Two engine tail. Capability. Three minutes, 15 seconds. I call, call up by Capcom. Bob Stewart says that the Columbia now has landing capability at the car airport should one engine go out. Three minutes, 25 seconds. Columbia now 46 nautical miles in altitude, 88 nautical miles down range. Three minutes, 32 seconds. Return status check and mission control by flight director Tom Holloway. The uh, crew aboard Columbia given a go to continue. Three minutes, 40 seconds. It appears to have been a perfect launch. Altitude, 105 nautical miles down range. Standing by now for negative return. Negative return is sort of a point of no return. They cannot return now to the launch site. They cannot. Brand over Marin Company committed to space travel. They can no longer turn around and return to launch site. 
Mark, four minutes, five seconds. Columbia now 52 nautical miles in altitude, 132 nautical miles down range. And they all got their astronaut pins because they're above 50 Columbia nautical now miles altitude. Columbia traveling at velocity So they are in space, but they're not quite in orbit as yet. That's correct. Mark, four minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, trajectory plots and mission control still on target for Columbia. Brand over Maryland or Allen swiftly moving downrange now. Now 50 or 174 nautical miles downrange. They're looking for an orbit 160 Mark, nautical four miles. 50 seconds. Uh, Columbia now 57 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 192 nautical and miles. And that, I think, range. if my arithmetic is correct, is 184 statute miles. Bobby, you said you're go at five minutes. Roger, go at five minutes. Mark, five minutes, 10 seconds. Columbia now 58 nautical miles in altitude, 222 nautical miles in our range. Three astronauts are sitting in the upper deck, the flight deck, and they probably have a view of what's ahead. One astronaut down below. Presto Miko. That means uh, go ahead to main engine cutoff. Miko. Main right. engine cutoff. Columbia, you have Presto Miko. Even if one engine is lost, they can now achieve orbit. Five minutes, 44 seconds, a Preston Miko call from Capcom Stewart says, should Columbia lose but one engine, press on, keep flying forward. Columbia's engines have enough energy to achieve normal altitude and velocity at cutoff. The voice of John McLeish at Mission Five Control in Houston. Five minutes, 58 seconds, Columbia now 59 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 307 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 13, standing by for single engine TAL. Columbia Houston, you have single engine TAL capability. Six minutes, uh, 15 seconds. That report from Capcom Stewart indicates if a two-engine failure occurred, the crew aboard Columbia is capable of an emergency landing at Dakar Airport. Mark, six minutes, 25 Dakar seconds. Columbia Senegal. 59 nautical miles down altitude, right. 316 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading uh, 15,400 feet per second. Mark, six minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia pitching over now, diving to in, in, increase velocity level uh, off altitude, uh, giving Columbia a most favorable attitude. Columbia now 59 nautical miles in altitude. Very little has been said from the spacecraft. A quiet crew on board, which is not unusual. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. Columbia now 59 they're very relaxed. True. Enjoying the view. Velocity now reading 17,900 feet per second. Seven minutes, 12 seconds. Seven, standing by for a single engine press to Miko. Columbia, you have a single engine press to Miko capability. Copy. Three now can go all the way on one of the seconds. three main engines. That report says Brandon Overmeyer can achieve normal engine cutoff targets even if two engines go out. Columbia now 58 nautical miles in altitude, 535 nautical miles down range. <coughs> I think it's worth reminding everybody Mark, that when the shuttle comes back, it comes back without uh, engines. It comes back as a glider or has now, one shot at landing and only one shot. And Columbia that landing is expected to take place next Tuesday, early morning, at Edwards Air Force range. Base in Columbia's California. Main engine slowly being throttled back now. Should be throttled at 65% at six seconds before main engine cutoff. Eight minutes. Flight Dynamics Officer Ron Epps reports uh, Columbia's velocity at 23,000 feet per second. Eight minutes, 12 seconds. Columbia now 59 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 675 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 24,400 feet per second. Mark, eight minutes, 25 seconds. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff will be followed by the separation of the huge external tank. Copy, good, Nico, Columbia. 80,000 pound confirmed tank, shut down Columbia now in space for a time. fifth time this time with a four-man crew standing by now for external tank separation Columbia now 795 nautical miles down range go no go status check and mission control by flight director uh, Tom Holloway for the first ohms burn and shutting down the auxiliary power units you should hear a confirmation external tank is. separation 
And that will break up and fall over a wide pattern in the uh, Indian Ocean. Correct. It is hoped that they've warned all the ships to uh, stay away. <laughs> It, the external tank is the only part of the uh, shuttle that is not reusable. <clears throat> there were two uh, parachutes on board that uh, helped the solid rocket boosters drift into the Atlantic a few moments ago, two parachutes that were used on the second shuttle flight. So they're beginning to make use of some of the parts that were used on the earlier shuttle or in the earlier shuttle flights. Let me uh, just move down here and grab this model and see how this works. We have a toy to play with. And just explain that in about eight hours, the uh, shuttle will uh, really become operational.